all right in today's video i'm going to show you guys why you need a video converter as a video editor and also as a youtuber who happens to edit his or her own videos all right guys let's get started so the tool we're gonna use is called Video Converter from Wondershare. They have sponsored a video in the past on this very channel. So when you go to Uni Converter, this is the homepage, you will find the top features at the top. And before we jump into it, just look at all other tools that it comes with. This is a great tool for a video editor or also a YouTuber. So we're gonna start with converter and it converts to or from more than thousand format. Just click on that, it's gonna bring this window out. So on this side, we can click on this box icon and it's gonna take us to the folder or find out we can bring the videos in or we can go directly to the folder or finder and bring the videos in. You can also click on this very top icon and it's going to take you the same place. And let me show you guys. These are the videos we're going to bring in. It was shot in MKV and you can see my computer. I use iMac and it's not able to detect this very video file. And even when I open with QuickTime player, let me show you guys. You can see right from here, it's not able to open it. So this is just going to be like a client who sends you this file to edit and to make your life easy you will convert them into something like mp4 and mov so it will be easy for your editing software so i'm just going to select this video files drag and drop in here when you look on this side it's showing the original video files with the format name and resolution then when you look on this side it shows what it's going to convert into so we can see it's going to convert into mp4 with the same resolution so when you look down down here this is the output format and this is a preset that I already saved on Uniconverter. So we can change that, you can click on this, then go to video and when you look down here you can see the number of formats you can convert into. So mostly I like to convert into MP4 or MOV if you're using a Mac system. So MP4, same as source, original resolution, everything just like that. Then you can click on create. Then from here, you can save it as a custom preset. So I will just name it custom one. Then with the video encoder, I'm going to leave it just like that. Everything also just like that. Then click on save. Then the next thing is file location. It's going to give you the default file location, but I like to change that. So click on that and select order. Then with this, we can select our own folder or find that we want to save these files in. So with mine, I'm going to change from that to tutorials. I want to save it in this folder, then click open. Then if you want to merge all the files as one file, it's going to add all these files as one file and export. I don't like it. I like to keep it individually so I'm going to leave it just like that. Then when you look at the top right corner, high speed conversion, when you click on that, it's going to utilize the full potential of your GPU model that you have. So I like to turn it on and it's going to be pretty fast with the conversion. When you're done, you can click on convert to convert the individual files or we can click on start all to convert all of them. So I'm just going to click start all and you can see how fast it is. This is real life test and it took less than one minute to convert those files. From there, you can click on finished and you're gonna see it on this side, the finished ones that you have. Then if you wanna see where the files are, you can just click on this folder icon. It's gonna take you to where it's exported to. So these are the files that we export. So you can see now the name is MP4. And now when I open with my QuickTime, you can see it opens very smooth and easy. So from here, I can import into my editing software and use it right away. So with this, it's not just gonna save you space when it comes to your drive, but also it's gonna save you a lot of money when it comes to buying storage drives. So we're just gonna click on compressor and just like earlier on, you can click on this folder to go to where you wanna import the videos or you can drag them and drop it in here directly. And also you can use this icon at the top here. So this is one of the tutorial videos that I shot and I'm already done with the video editing and I wanna save it in my storage drive. So in order to cut down the size, the file size, so I'll save some money, I'm gonna use the compressor from Uniconverter to compress the files down so I'll save some space on my drive. So this is the file size of it, 8.8 .8 gig. I'm just gonna click on load to load 
put it in compressor so right on this side you can see it shows the file size the format and also the resolution of this video then this is what it's going to convert into it's going to give you a range that's 2.7 to somewhere 5.3 gigabytes so just like we did earlier on we can change the location of this so i can choose this then go to where i want to save it I'm going to save it in tutorials and click on open then when you look here this is the file size it's going to convert to when you click on this it's going to give you a percentage you can select but we're going to click on this so we can really adjust the settings let me change it to the default settings so this is the default settings it's going to come with and the green range this way it's going to show you that you're going to have a good quality with the video if you want it to be really small and sacrifice a little bit of the quality you can take it down away from the green but I would advise to stay within the green so mostly I like to stay around 50 to 60 percent format I'm gonna leave it at mp4 but you can change it to any format you want to save at then this side when we choose constant bitrate it's gonna maintain that then when you look here when we click ok the file size is going to give us exactly the file size it's going to convert to but then when you choose variable bitrate it's going to give you a range file size that it's going to compress into so with this i like to go with a constant bitrate so i know exactly the file size it's going to compress into then down here i'll leave everything just like that then click on ok so from here if you have a multiple videos you can click on start all to compress all the files but since this is just one video i'm just going to click on compress and it's going to start compressing the video so when it's done click on finished then this is the video we converted we can click on this folder icon it's going to take us to the place so this is the new file size that it converted it gave us five gigabytes compared to the original one i'm going to show you the original one this was the original one that's 8.8 .8. so we've saved three gigabytes of size now let me show you additional great features that comes with uniconverter so these are all other tools that comes with uniconverter when you scroll down you can find more on this side we're going to start with ai video enhancer click on that it's going to bring us this window and this is a video that was sent to me by a friend who's having a barber shop in helsinki and it was shot in android phone and also at the same time he sent it through whatsapp which is terrible way of sending video files so i need to enhance the quality before i edit the videos and that's where unit converter comes into place so just click on video enhancer i'm gonna drag the video into this side it comes with denoise if you want to denoise the video if it has some noise and you want to denoise it we're not going to use that frame interpolation we're not going to use that we're going to use ai upscaler then when you click down here this two times the quality size of this and we have four times the quality size too but mostly four size it's going to slow down your machine a little bit so i like to go with two times of this quality then if you want to preview that and watch how it's going to look like you can preview it then file location just like we did previously we're going to change it to where we want to save all the files i want to save it in tutorials then click on open then from here you can click on export so from this you can see the difference it enhanced the video quality a bit so now we can edit those videos and send to our clients another great tool that comes with you know converter that's the screen recorder we're going to use that just click on screen recorder let me minimize this and it's going to give us this window i want to select a 4k resolution on my screen so i'm just going to put in those figures 380 40 with the width and then 2160 with the height then i'm going to move this to select the exact portion i want to select so this is a 4k resolution and then i can click on record or you can also go this side and select exactly if you want a full hd or 2k you can select right on this side then from here let's turn on the microphone and we can change it into built-in microphone then with the facetime if you have an hd you can turn it on and use your facetime but i like to use my camera to record the videos then on this side you're just going to click on record and then you're going to record your computer screen to try your hands on uniconverter you can click in the link in the description box below catch you guys on the next one peace